911. What are you reporting? Uh, we got someone or something crawling around out here. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal or? I can't tell. All I know is that my central light came on and I just happened to glimpse to see this thing running across the yard. Uh, a good sized man or something that looks like a man. I don't know what it was, just it, it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was, whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. So whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sure. Gia. Hello? Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. It's time to find a new world. Very good, boy. Now, let's see if you can find Hawaii. Columbus! Columbus? Leroy, I've warned you about letting your dog run rampant around here. There are possum and raccoon traps everywhere. Morning, Sky. You know better than to frighten an old man. What are you doing out this time of night? The chief sent me out here to watch for rats. The harvest has been eaten lately, and he suspects rats are doing it. The earth troubles me this evening, old man. Spirits other than the ones that we pray to stir tonight. Do you sense it? No, but that's no indicator that what you're saying isn't true. It just means I'm dull. Tell me more. It's unlike any feeling I've ever had. Since the sun fell this evening, I felt an inner fear of something old, something unspoken of. Some of that I've sensed in the last few weeks, but nothing specific. You mean more unspecified threats? It's no laughing matter. It just may mean a hard winter this year. Well, I've got to help the chief sort the bingo cards. I'm waving goodbye, Leroy. Wave back. Okay, Columbus. It's time we went to bed. We got young people to marry and young people to bury. What's that on your head? A baseball cap. Mm -hmm. What are you carrying? Look, 
Mom made me bring it. She doesn't want me out of practice for the Little League season. All right, get in. We do ritual and historical reenactments for the tourists that come here. It's a big part of the tribe's income, so there's a certain entertainment aspect to the job. You understand? Mind if I smoke? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Your background seems to be somewhat eclectic time spent in a Buddhist temple. I guess, I guess you'll do. You can ask a question regarding your psyche profile as we tour the village. We're gonna have ourselves a real good weekend. No stress, no goddamn cell phones. You know, when I was a kid, my daddy took me hunting for the first time. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Bam! Right between the eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're eating pieces of that deer for next week. It's gonna be your turn, kiddo. Mom says hunting's barbaric. Yeah, I'll bet she does. This is a Mountain News update. There are several power outages reported for the Mountain communities of Atukwa, Moose Lake Village, and Sutter's Point. Anyone living or lodging in these communities is advised to conserve backup generator power as the Pine Tree Power Authority has not yet determined when power will be restored. your uh, favorite singer? Uh, that would be uh, the uh, singer formerly known as Prince. What is your favorite food? Loney sandwiches with uh, potato chips in between the bread. Who do you care about the most in this life? <laughs> Moi. Who do you care the least about? My father. Well, he was a career alcoholic. Who is your favorite comedian? Richard Nixon. What is your favorite holiday? Oh, Halloween. That's when I get to play a white guy. 
What is your favorite vacation destination? Quebec. Finally, uh, Mr. Freeberg, what is your favorite extracurricular activity? Why, sir, that would have to be sex. Yeah. I'm gonna write you a check when I get paid next week, I swear. Wake up, wake up, Dad. What, what's the matter? Is it time for the hunt? There's something, Dad, there's something outside moving around. Okay, okay. It might be a deer or even a bear. I don't know, I'll go and get my shotgun. I'm shredding the door, Dad. I don't want it to come in. It's a good idea. I'll be back in a sec. say I didn't get a real good look at it <clears throat> well it didn't growl like a bear mm. and uh, in your opinion what exactly did it growl like I'd say it growled like the devil Son, it's important to remember that shotgun is one of the most versatile weapons ever created by the hands of man. Now, <clears throat> see this shotgun shell? This bad boy take down something real big. Like a bear? Well, yeah, I guess, like a bear, but I don't think we'll be running into him no more. Why won't the bear come back? Well, I'll answer that question as soon as I give you a quick lesson about how to use your gun. Crouch down right here, so crouch down there. Okay, now put the put the butt in your shoulder like I showed you. Okay. Right in there, that barrel up. Okay, now you see the bead on the end? Yeah. That's your sight. Okay. You want to make sure that the sight is lined up with the deer. You do not pull that trigger unless that sight's lined up with the deer. You understand me? Yeah. Okay. I want the bear come back. Make sure that safety's off. Concentrate. I am. Shh. Keep your 
your voice down because otherwise deer's going to hear you and then they're not going to come out, all right? I want the bear come back. Okay. It knows our scent, okay? It knows to stay away. It probably was just sniffing around there because it thought the cabin was deserted. I haven't been there in about six months. Okay, now watch the recoil. Put it in your shoulder. That's good. And, oh my God, look, there's a deer right there. Right there, hang on. Wait till it comes out from behind that tree. Okay, don't, don't fire in my ear. Did I get him? Hell yes, you did, son. That was a clean shot. Guess that's great. Now what? We're gonna take it home, cut it up, and eat the damn thing. What do you think we're gonna do with it? Watch the recoil on that gun next time, okay? Next time? You're funny, kid. You know that? You're real funny. Put that gun down. You can help me lift this thing. Grab me by the hindquarters there. Okay. Pick up. Pick. 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 Okay, put it down, put it down, put it down. All right. All right, Joe man's got to rest for a second. Okay. All right. Why'd Mom leave you, Dad? Well, I guess it's because I was poor, son. Weren't you always poor? Uh, no. One time I was kind of rich. I had me a uh, neon sign company. I made signs for your home and for your car. We'd done pretty good. What happened? Uh, what happened? China and Korea happened. What about China and Korea? Well, it's cheaper labor. See, they could make the neon cheaper than me and my boys, so the company went out of business. There went my company. No more company, no more money. And then, no more mom. Come on, let's move this damn thing. Nice piece of meat you got there, mister. Real pretty. It's my son's. It's his first. Are the bears dangerous? There are no beasts in here that would dare mess with man. Now we need something to go with it. Cupboard's empty. You mean we get to head into town? Yeah. Come on. Let's go celebrate your first deer. When did this happen? Uh, we believe about two weeks ago. That's when the uh, tribe reported him missing. Well, there hasn't been a murder in this town in, what, 20 years, wouldn't you say, Margaret? That would be right. Funny thing, though. Oh, what's that, Margaret? Well, about 20 years ago, medicine man Tommy Timberlake was killed near the Nuweka River. Now, that's just a bunch of hooey. Tommy was a drunkard. There's no evidence of foul play. He, he drowned it. Or was drowned. Now, that was long before you boys became the law in this park. Uh, they found marks on his back. They thought it was bear claw. Well, they think it was the bear that killed old Crouchy's Son, foot. That's none of your damn business, OK? Deputy, you should be doing a lot less talking and a whole lot more walking. Why don't you get your butt out there and make sure those people don't dirty up our police car? Hey, is he going to pay for that candy? What's it going to cover, bud? Yeah, Two bucks or so? Yeah, that's fine, Sheriff. Thank you. All right. Now, look. Dad, you promised. Look, we found up there next to his body. Come on, son. It's just a little celebration juice, that's all. Big ass footprints. Uh, second thought, maybe not. <sighs> uh, excuse me, did you say something about uh, footprints or something? You are? Uh, well, uh, my name's Charles Thomas, and uh, it's my boy Tim here, and we just came up for a weekend to do a little bit of hunting. Well, that's fine. So what have you got to tell me about some footprints? <sighs> tell him what we saw, Dad. Yeah, right. <laughs> tell him what we saw, Dad. <laughs> well, we're not too sure, but we reckon we might have seen a bear nosing around our cabin. Where is your cabin? It's up by Sutter's Point. Sutter's Point. That's pretty close to where we found Krusty Foot's body. Who's Krusty Foot? Now, Krusty Foot, he was an Indian medicine man. Dad, can we see the Indians? Well, they're having a tribal dance show tonight at uh, uh, 7.30 p.m. up at uh, Burnt Rock.
Long before the sands poured through the hourglass, the creator slapped this big old earth in the ass. The ground shook, and all the critters and bugs took shape. This was a wake-up call for those bums, the spirits that hung out all the time doing nothing. And everything got busy, and the dropouts had no place. So they got with the big guy's program and took on shapes. Some became trees, others rocks. A few couldn't stop running. They moved so fast they became wind and could not be touched. Now, my people have a new tradition, psyching out you, the white man. Why? Because we're hipper, cooler, and more relaxed. We enjoy our peyote, kissing, and dance. And dance is what I'm gonna do for you, a tribal dance. People came to watch me dance, so now is my very big chance. Here's where I impress, it's the truth you can't guess. We're all of this place, no matter the color of your face. The spirit of my ancestors strengthened me. They're part of what makes my body me. Their wisdom from long time past makes this culture endure and last. The next time you see a movie of John Wayne, know that it's all lies just the same. The Indian was here before the white. His oneness with nature is out of sight. Long ago, a people lived upon this ground that you sit, but they were not people like you or I. These people were the first of the animals to speak a language, yet they were still very much like the animals. They were large and powerful, and they traveled great distances on foot, and they slew with their bare hands the great mountain lion and fed upon its carcass, and the moose and the elk as well. Only the great buffalo were spared because they were considered sacred. In time, these mountain men became proud and arrogant and waged war with one another until their numbers dwindled to but a remnant. When new peoples like the Indian appeared, they retreated to high mountain places in shame, except for special anniversaries. And they count their departure as a time when a flame shone in the heavens. When that flame returns, they will return. Where will you be when they return? Well, that's it for tonight's entertainment. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please come back. Power remains out in the community of Sutter's Point. Power authorities believe this is due to damage to power substations. Well, we 
least didn't come up here. Must have been cold and came in to warm up. Well, I think the bear smelled a deer. Mm. Probably broke in from the outside because he smelled it. I'll put a lock on the door tomorrow morning. It might come back? I'll make the fire downstairs and sit down there with the shotgun. You just get some sleep, okay? What about Morning Sky's story? Damn it, son, it's a story. That's all. Not a bear, Dad. <laughs> I think I'd get a box of those uh, 12 gauge shotgun shells over there. Sure. That's good. That's perfect. Yeah. And, uh, and this too. Keep something out and keep something in. We uh, saw another bear near our property. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The Pattersons up North Six were in earlier today. They said a bear raided their cabin last night and their pet dog was killed too. Really? Hey, the two of you were in here a couple of days ago, weren't you? You told the sheriff that you saw footprints, right? Yeah, that's right. You just stay right here. The one you've seen like this? Uh, yep. Wilbur was up all night working on this. The sheriff didn't have any plaster, so they took it up to the site and took this cast. Sir, this is not a bear. No, I would say not. Wilbur! Wilbur! Not like Wilbur not to respond. Fall out of bed and break his leg. Billy Crump died that way, and well, you know his body wasn't found for days. Well, uh, uh, ma'am, 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 calm down for a second, okay? Uh, Timmy, you just stay here, buddy, okay? I'm gonna help this young lady uh, find her husband. Come on. Some son of a bitch walks right in front of the truck. Bam! I stop. I reckon I done hit a deer or something. I look over the side, and there's this thing. Looks like a damn gorilla, except it's bigger. I'm thinking nobody in hell is gonna believe this. I 
Roger's all a souvenir. I just said we found Wilbur split open like a fucking chicken pot pie. Now listen, stranger. Don't you and your son go flying off anywhere too soon, huh? Are you out of your cotton-picking mind? You know what I'm... Now you listen to me, mister. This may not be the big city, so don't you dare try and pull any of that crap on this sheriff. Now look. Look, my jurisdiction covers a very, very wide territory. I'm understaffed, and you are a material witness... I got something nosing around my cabin. I, I don't even know what it is. I got a hillbilly walking around with the head of a goddamn missing link. And I just found some woman's husband split open like a fucking watermelon. Now, what do you expect me to do? It's just wait and become fucking dessert? Fucking right. You watch your fucking language, young man. You understand me? This is everything the library has, Horace. Hold it down. Just put them over there. No, look. We are under a very, very... We're under a very severe storm on this side of the yeah, mountain, pal. You hold on. Yes, yes. The weather bureau says it's heading directly for you, and it's not going to clear around here for another four hours. And that means you better stay exactly, precisely where you are until I can get there. Do you understand me? Yeah. Fuck you. Damn it. My what's wrong? Clarence, you know, I've always believed that the Academy has prepared me for everything and absolutely anything. But how in the world are you prepared for a thing like this? Whew. Now, my granddaddy, he was a preacher, and he always used to say to me, that the best way to prepare for the day Pray to the Lord. Clarence, I gave up praying to the Lord years ago. Now, why's that? Well, perhaps it had something to do with my mother passing away when I was 12. Look, why don't you, uh, why don't you finish loading up the squad car? We'll be heading out soon enough. Yes, boss. Hold up a minute. Now look, Clarence. I may have given up praying a long time ago, but that doesn't mean that I want you to quit. As a matter of fact, I'd really appreciate it if you'd pray for me too, huh? Aw, oh, shucks, boss. I do that all the time. <laughs> place to stay tonight. It's the ancient ones. They return. You, you know all about them. Why are they bothering us? Perhaps it's you that's bothering them. And take it easy. You had a rough day, all right? Your spirit is strong, but you weaken it with the devil's juice. Follow me. I'll take you to my new mentor. He'll answer your questions. What happened to your old mentor? The ancient ones ate him, body and soul, leaving nothing. Nothing? Well, they were hungry. Welcome once again, father and son. He knew it was us. He's psychic too. Not really. I heard a few people outside my tent talking about your arrival a few minutes ago. But you were meditating just now. We saw you. Son, that meditation is what you do at night when your head hits the pillow. You were sleeping. 
Actually, I was napping. You can wake yourself out of a nap. You can't when you're in a deep sleep. Knowing and seeing is morning sky's gifts. My gifts are a weak bladder and a big butt. Look, uh, we kind of need to know what's going on around here. You already know what's going on. So, uh, let me see if I understand this. Uh, you expect me to believe that monsters are walking around, that they uh, exist or something? Well, of course they do. They just have fancy names like CEOs and lawyers. They're coming, they're coming! <laughs> many times before we were born. It will happen many times after we're gone. Do not fear them, my people. You are safe. They will not enter our village and sacred places. Borrow this with a white man. Um, Horace, I'm gonna go do a number two. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, I told you that Indian food would get to you. Mess you up. All right, I'll be there in a minute, Claire. Just lay off. Relax. Lost your gun? I don't believe this. What the hell's the matter with you? What the hell?
it is. Yum machine he can to buy a such can I have. Yum miss our bear, miss sick. Mamma Chitawak, Poketina, Yum Chimok, my Newak. Well, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Charles. He promised he'd call at 8.30 p.m. Now it's half past nine. Nothing. Maybe something happened? Like what? God forbid something happened to my baby out there in the woods. No, I don't mean anything tragic like that. I simply mean that perhaps circumstances beyond their control prevented them from calling. You're absolutely right, Doctor. The bastard started drinking again, and when he drinks, he forgets everything that the irresponsible dope. That's why I divorced him in the first place, you know? Yes, I know. No, well, you really don't know, not the half of it. You know, I mean, he's a, uh, he's weak. He's a good man, but he's a weak man. When his company tanked, he tanked up. Look, Patricia, we've been over this ground before. This is about your responsibility. You can't keep blaming your ex-husband for all that isn't right in your life. Well, you got me there. You're good. No wonder you do this for a living. You still haven't answered my question yet. When are you going to take responsibility for the direction of your life? May I smoke? I thought you gave those up. And my mother, she always hated that I smoked. So I, I quit for her and not myself. I didn't want to displease her. I don't want to displease anybody. It's my problem. <laughs> that is a very good piece of self-realization. Much of what you do is to please others, not yourself. In failing to nourish your soul, you become angry. Oh, our time is up. Next week? Yeah. Thank you. I feel <laughs> empowered. <laughs> oh, Patricia, I'm sure your son's okay. I'm sure, too. I'm going to head out there first thing tomorrow morning, though. It'll be a surprise visit. I think I have a few things to say to Charles. Oh. You know more about all this than you're letting on to, brother. I'm waiting. Okay, I'll make it easy for you. See, I think long time ago, some rat bastard leader of this tribe made a deal with these Sasquatches that in exchange for a comfortable lifestyle not to be fucked with, they would sacrifice one of their own from time to time. Kind of like a deal with the schoolyard bully to keep him from kicking your ass. That's pure speculation. You have no proof. That's where you're wrong, brother. I checked the tribal records. Every so often, these mountain beasts come down to feed. My father told me the legend when I was a kid of being stupid and full of myself. I didn't believe him. Most of the tribes fought these things, losing brave warriors. But not this village. No, this village gets left alone because some old blind medicine man got served up to him on a plate. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? You don't know me. You don't know these people. How dare you? You're just an outsider. I know you're kind. What are you going to do now? Report me to the white man's authorities? No, I won't say nothing. But my silence won't excuse you of your crime and the evil you bring to this village. You can't expect these people to sit on a fence forever. 
time will come for them to act with or without you as their leader. Of the box of shells. <laughs> oh, you made the mistake of parking your Jeep right outside the perimeter of our village. So? Our village land ends just on the other side of these logs. God damn! Now you tell me. Don't worry, man. I'll guide you back to your cabin. Now, why would you want to do that? I mean, your chief barely let us spend a night in his village. Look, our chief is stupid. I'm not. That makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Look, uh, there's no telephones here, and it's in exactly six hours, it's going to be completely dark. So we got six hours to get from here to your cabin where we can call the authorities. We'll take the trail paths. Looks like a mighty long way to me. Well, then you better get going. You will. Keep an eye on our people until you see me again. All right, let's go. You've been eating submarine sandwiches. Say, <laughs> so isn't this at uh, John Russell's house? He's an African game hunter. Now, if that's the case, we should be able to find some real firepower around here. Look, I've been through every room in this house, and I have found absolutely nothing. Clarence, let's check the basement. Bingo. are similar to that of a bat's. It must have excellent night vision. And judging from the size of its cranium, it's highly intelligent. Yeah, the books are right. They're powerful animals as well. A new study led by famed sociologist Dr. P. Clairville reveals that men who embrace the willful killing of animals as sport have an 80% greater chance of divorce and separation from their children. The study suggests the link between the lack of empathy that these men have for the hurt and suffering of animals with a general lack of empathy for the feelings of others. Can you see this? Somebody needs help. Can I spell him? That's my rising! We gotta help, man. You crazy? How many shells you got in that shotgun? I only got one left. I count two of them. You do the math. What's going on? Very, very quiet. Yeah, we gotta take a different route. Well, it smells like shit we need to cover up. Here, put this on.
can't believe that poor man's still alive. Uh, as long as he's alive, they'll focus on him and not us. It's not even dark yet, and they're out. What's that? Don't look, son. There's nothing we can do for him now. We gotta keep going. Don't worry, there's only a few of them. They can come out in force when it's night. He's dead now, isn't he? I certainly hope so. still here. It's not going away. It's waiting. We've got to split up. You two go over by that rock. I'll be here. Son, that is about the most foolhardy thing you could have done. That thing could have killed you. I know, but I don't want you to end up like that ranger. Red and white to Bald Eagle, do you copy? Over. Red and white to Bald Eagle, do you copy? Over. Damn it, I can't believe those creatures destroyed our comm system. What? Clarus, where the hell did we get this thing anyway? You remember, boss, it was in the trunk. We were gonna donate it to the local ham radio operators club. I forgot. Clarence, this is one time that you've screwed up that I'm truly happy about. Red and white to Bald Eagle, do you copy? Over. Red and white to Bald Eagle, do you copy? Can you boost the gain? It's no use, boss. It's busted.
It's Moonlight's reflection. My belt buckle. It's true. Their eyes can't take any direct bright light. Their eyes are like a bat's. That's their weakness. And clearly it's their only one. It's night now. We better find some shelter soon. That cabin where that boy and his father are staying, that's about a half a mile south of here. Yeah, and they're the ones who are responsible for us being out here in the first place. I think we now have bigger problems and we should be leaving. Got that right. Mountain News update. The Weather Bureau's forecast for tonight is one of intense scattered showers throughout the area. There is a road advisory warning for right. the Willard Peak area. Be advised that there is a flash flood warning until 3 p.m. Oh, Eastern time. Visibility is also poor, so be advised to reduce speed and be on the lookout for passing wildlife. Right. Hey, you got a phone? Hey, you know your phone doesn't work. Hey, you know this thing is dead. see you here. Not half as good as I am to see you. You can put that thing down. I haven't decided yet. Thanks. You know, I never like cops much myself. May I? I neither. So, uh, well, why'd you become one, then? I guess this way at least I can be sure there's at least one good cop. Fair enough. Now, look. I've determined that they're very, very sensitive to bright light, but what the hell can you tell me about their, their weaknesses? Well, basically, they're pack animals. They attack in groups. Their command structure. And when left alone, they're dumber than a bag of hammers. All right, that, that, that's great, but when are they ever alone? Huh? Almost never. <clears throat> Shit. Well, that's what we're up against. The monsters are coming! Clarence, get that window. The rest of you, stay where you are. Hurry, you're out there. to your muscle tissue and their bones broken. You, go to the kitchen and boil me a pot of water. You're gonna have to apply the pressure right here. Hold it right there, that's gonna stop the bleeding. Charles, you got any cat gut? We got some fishing line in a drove out of sink. Don't worry, boss. We're, we're gonna make it out of this okay. You okay, kid? 
Why does everyone keep asking me if I'm okay? Are you okay? Oh, I've been better. Well, so have I. Huh. Good. Clarence, do me a favor, get a box of nails by the sink. I'm gonna try and secure this window. Oh, I was just wondering. I need number two. And... Down the hall to your left. Use that glade, boy. It's number two, all right. My ex-wife, Trish. Pleased to meet you, man. Who are you? Nobody. Get absolutely nobody. Look, I'm not moving until somebody tells me what the hell is going on here. I don't have time to explain to you. We're in danger, and you need to get inside. What the hell is going on here? Well, you must be the wife. That's ex-wife. Who are you? I'm the law around here. Oh, arrest this man. You want to tell me what his crime is? He's an idiot. Well, ma'am, you just indicted about 90% of the world's population. Guys, come take a look at this. Sure, look. You son of a bitch. You got a cell phone? Yeah. Well, can I use it? Oh. Here. Here. We can use a Cadillac and get it. The question is, where to? This is Sheriff Horace Jimerson. What's going on, anyway? So now what you're telling me is you can have a boat on the shoreline in about an hour, right? Perfect. All right, I'm going to cover this one. You rest, you're hurting something fierce. Well, you're an Indian, aren't you? Can't you whip up some kind of a sedative or something? I'm working on it. Well, damn it, man, do your magic. Hey, I'm going to take care of you. So then I surprised the monster and hit it right in the head with my baseball bat. And Horace killed it before it could get up. <laughs> Tim, what did I tell you about telling lies? I know you have a big imagination and that's great, but enough's enough. Look, uh, I hate to break up this family reunion, but I got some news to share with you. I just got off the phone with the Coast Guard. There's a storm heading over to the station. 
They said the quickest they can get to shoreline in is about an hour from now. God damn it, we don't have an hour. Those creatures find their way around the headlights, we're done. You don't look too good, mister. Thanks. Neither do you. Excuse us for a moment. Are you going to tell me what's really going on here? Your son just spilled his entire guts to you and told you everything you need to know. And you didn't even hear it. No, I don't believe it. Then follow me. Now, before I show you this, I want to make sure of three things. One, you haven't eaten. Two, you're not pregnant. And three, you don't got to go to the bathroom. Go to hell. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? OK, put it in your mouth like a cigarette medicine. OK, breathe. Breathe in, inhale. OK, hold it. Hold it. How's it feel? Far out, man. What the hell is this shit? Marijuana. Hey, wait, that's illegal. Not for long. Take another one. Step aside. What do you call that? <laughs> What's going on? You have to go now. You're trying to break the headlights out of the car. Me. Just like the deer, buddy. Let's go. Sit on the fence. That fence is broken, along with our chief. We've elected a new leader. Well, they couldn't have picked a more finer leader than you, Morning Sky. But we have, teacher. I'm honored. Well, it looks like my responsibilities have changed. You should get your wife and son and horse and get on the road while you still can. Thank you. We will continue to hunt these until we drive them back into their mountain caves. I'm sorry. For what? For everything. I'm sorry I doubted you. I've always doubted you. Well, not always. <laughs> well, recently. Yeah, recently. Man, how long have I been out? About 10 minutes. 10? 
Here, kid, you better take the watch. Watch the time, I, I can't seem to stay awake ever since I smoked that shit. Well, you better stay awake. You're no good to yourself or anyone else asleep. Look, there's something blocking the road up there. Slow down. Available. You are a resident of Sutter's Point. You are advised to stay in your home until the situation is under control. Remember, if you see any sign of the monsters, fire shot into the air and we'll come right back. You got it, kid. Don't forget to keep your eye on that watch. Keep checking the time. That boat's not going to stay there long once it reaches shore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OK. Tim, come here. Come here. Try not to look at the man. Climb over him. I'm going to put it in neutral, OK? And you just steer that car straight. Your mom and I are going to push it. God, he's gone. Yeah. 